Okay, we're going to make a drag onto image question where we're going to drag some text. So go to settings, question bank, and you're going to create a new question. I've got categories here, so I'm going to create it for a particular category, which is just here. Create a new question. And my question is a drag and drop onto image question. Go next. Okay, so I'm going to be getting them to label the heart. Label, okay, by dragging the correct terms. Highlight that, and I usually copy it and paste it into the question name just so that I can find that question again later. Default mark. Uh, I'll change that later. I'm not quite sure how many labels I'm going to do, so I'll change that after I've done this. Um, I need to add a file. I can drag or drop the background image, or I can just choose it. So I'm going to choose the file. I've got it here somewhere. And at this point, I should show you how you can prepare a diagram in a really rough and ready way. So I open up Word and find the image that I want to put in there insert the image, um, adjust the layout and pop it in the middle of a Word document at a decent size. And then the idea is I'm going to add some lines to it that are going to be for attaching the labels. So I just add, insert simple lines all the way around. Once I've done that, then I go to the snipping tool, which everyone has installed as part of Windows these days. And I just drag a box, making sure I leave enough space on both sides for my labels. And then once I've dragged it, I just save it to my computer and it's ready to go. Okay, so you've got the image that's uploaded. Here it is. So I think I've left enough white space around it. It automatically resizes it to 600 across by, or maximum 600 across by 400 tall. Uh, you can get your Moodle administrator to change those defaults and I'll put the code that they can use in the information box under this video. So I've got that in there, now I need to start adding in my text. It says, see here it says draggable image, that's if I wanted to drag an, an image onto it, but I'm going to do all text. So the things I'm going to put in are things like the aorta. If you run out of um, blanks to fill in, you can add three more. Okay, so I've got 12 draggable items. Next, move up here and click on Refresh Preview. And now's how I make these draggable items. I click on this drop down and I just pick each one. And you can see as I do that, they appear up here. I need to add some more. Of course, you could just have two things that you're dragging onto yours and it'd be much quicker to make. Okay, now while I remember, I've got 12 things I have to drag on, so I'll change this mark to being out of 12. Could make it actually six, give it half a mark for each one. Okay, now I just need to drag these into the correct positions. So let's see, superior vena cava goes up here. Okay, so that looks satisfactory. Maybe if I'd spent a bit more, if I'd been a bit more careful, I would have left a bit more space down here. But that looks ready to go. If I scroll down, I could put in some feedback, but it's not necessary if you don't want to. And then the rest of it, I don't usually give hints. Tags aren't really utilized very well in Moodle. I'm just gonna save the changes. Then I can preview my quiz. Okay, so ooh, I can try dragging these in. I'll just drag them into random locations. Get a couple of them right. And leave a few out. Submit and finish. We got one mark out of six because I got two right. And I got the rest wrong. I don't know why they jump around like this, but it doesn't really affect the way it works. 
If you need to edit your question, you can of course click on the edit button.